7 rebounds, 4 assists, had a couple of blocks, and of course the biggest play of the game to put the Terriers in the win column as Tedrick Wilcox Jr. to clinch their first ever NCAA tournament. They'd love to host a home game in the NEC tournament as well. Five to shoot. Whip to the wing. Howell South drains the triple. One of the best post players in the NEC. Tries to go up and under, slips. And here come the Terriers. Up ahead, Howell South with five straight points. Johnson reverses course. Sims thought about it, gets it back. Johnson, the triple, and Stonehill needed that. Out of winning the game. Up and under, Josh Mack denied. Roy Clark. And Clark with the block from the point guard position. I mean, sometimes he plays like a big man, the way he rebounds, and he had a block the other day as well. Mack will try it and connect. Well, South, Cyrus Grisby, and Tedrick Wilcox Jr. Sims picks up his dribble, working on Sonya, and he gets the bucket to go against the Blue Devils of Central Connecticut State, but somebody that you know will have his playing minutes you know, depending on rotations as another triple falls. Yeah, in fact, Sims the only starter to score as Burnett can't get it to go, and there's Mellis, another offensive rebound from Ellis. Zegarowski, he missed his first three shots from the floor. He's got a twin brother who's an outstanding player. Yep. Sonia off the window and eight to shoot. Stone matched up with Trey Cordobaum, rejected. Sonia, here's Wilcox. Coast to coast, Tedrick Wilcox. A block and a bucket. Out, but the thing is, there isn't a category for change or altered shots. That's what Nooski's doing now. Just didn't drop through the bottom of the rim. It hit every other part. Sims not afraid to go at Sonia. Hooks the pass underneath and a nice backdoor cut. Second call too often. Yeah. It's kind of like that carry, right, as Burnett gets the hoop to go. Oh, having to transition into another court, I mean, for them to, you know, be where they're at is really outstanding. A testament to the players and the coaching staff. Points in 17 minutes in the first half. He turned the ball over three times. Sims with some space, drills the three. Gets you on the court, but your defense keeps you on the court. Stone back to our feed. Zegarowski's heating up. Swung over. Clark lets it go and hits. Bergen gets the assignment on Harris. Johnson goes to help. Here's Clark up and under. Roy Clark taps it back in. You usually see a perimeter player you know, make that type of move with the hesitation. He, as a, uh, you know, interior guy, did a good job on that move. It's a race with Sims to the cup. Can't finish. As Zegarowski goes to the deck. Clark as well. Roy Clark keeping it together for the Terriers. And a splashdown. Matched up with Stone. Reverses up top. It's a three, but Thea, he's got it. He's been hot recently, averaging 10 and a half points a game. Clark zips it. But Thea. They had another guy, Frank Iglioli, guy from Brooklyn right here, played at Bishop Ford. The St. Francis the one right there. Wow. Shots and making them. Here's Sims. Backing down, Sonia, yes, and the foul. Burnett challenging him. Josiah Harris gets doubled. Bethea tees up a three and hits another one. Well, that's the guy the Terriers right now need to be looking for. Don't be surprised, you know, if you see Burnett run over and guard him. Johnson showing there he's both an inside and outside scorer. The Stonehill team that's... Second in the conference in three-point shooting. And Bethea. Sims picks him up on the switch. Clark heaves and connects. Up and under, Max Zegarowski gets his own miss. But the Terriers escape. Clark, coast to coast, no sir. Harris puts it in. Stonehill, they don't have to foul, just let St. Francis go. 
But Thea walks into a three, in and out. Harris with a two-handed jam, and Breika calls a quick timeout. Wilcox with two seconds, good if it goes. Doesn't fall, and Stonehill wins it on the road. It's a 65-59 final.